Hey guys, it's your girl Tanya. I'm back with another video. I got my yellow nails on. I got my green dress. I'm like ready for summer. I got my Tanya necklace. I feel like I'm ready. I'm ready for the summer. Um, I've, I've gained a lot of weight this summer, shamelessly, because I'm really enjoying eating. I haven't worked out in a month and a half, which is really bad. I'll get back to working out. But I just wanted to slow down and take time to enjoy life and recommend you do that but I definitely enjoyed it so anyway um today before I make the video I want to give a little shout out to Tazmila who's always messaging me and she's so sweet to me she comments I'm like just such a sweet girl hi shout out to you and Natasha because she asked for this vlog I mean I have been really lazy with videos and I thought people forgot about me but it was sweet and Natasha and I reached out and was like, make a video. And Desmond was like, make a video. I was like, fine, I'm going to make a video. So yeah, let's get on this video. Also today, I will tell you more of my Tinder stories and shenanigans with all these married men messaging me. So this is going to be a juicy video, so stay tuned. So before I start my makeup, I'm going to go with my Sashado sunscreen. Sunblock is a mist. Even if you're a brown girl with a lot of melanin magic, um, it just keeps your skin clear and better. I feel like my skin has been really nice since I started using sunscreen. And this one, like, I love it. Like, seriously, obsessed. Like, it's not non-stick. It has no color. Like, look at me. I look, still look the same. It's not like one of those, like, sunscreen only made for white people that just makes you look white. So, thanks to Shado for making a product like that. Okay, then I will start. Um, so no, sorry, because it's summer and makeup, my makeup tends to like go all over the place. I'm going to start with Tatcha. I'm going to spray my face generously with Tatcha. Um, close your eyes. I'm just fucking like fuck it up. So I got my hair did guys. I'll show you after I'm done my makeup. I'll take it off. I'll let it sit, get a little tacky. So, you know, your girl's been single for like almost five years. So sad but not really, fuck it. Um, so if people follow me on Instagram know that my last date, um, the one that I went to in like three years went horribly. So met this guy on um, Hinge. He seemed like a really cute guy. He had kids. I'm like, oh, it's like perfect. Anyway, so I'm like, hey, so yeah, let's meet. We talked for two days and he sounds like a decent normal guy. So we go out to a cafe, right? So excited i'm like texting all my friends i'm like hey i'm on a date blah blah, blah. so this guy shows up looks like he hasn't like taken a bath in a couple of weeks but like i'm like you know what i'm just not gonna judge him because i don't know sometimes i don't take a bath <laughs> so i go into a cafe we talk for 10 minutes things seem to go fairly smooth i'm like picking on him i'm like haha you look so poor blah blah blah. it was a joke and he's like yeah i know haha <laughs> um then he's like hey do you want to come to my car with me I'm like, mm, I'm gonna get some action, make out, mm, some kisses. So right, I go to his car. And then out comes a brown little box and he opens it and it's full of drugs. Like, not drugs, like cannabis products, like weed products, like gummy bears, hash, vape pens, like every fucking thing you can think of that's made of cannabis is in the box, motherfucker was a dealer. I started telling me to sell me drugs. It was not a date. It was recruitment of clients. <sighs> Let's take a moment to breathe. Yep. Fucking got duped by a drug dealer. Ain't nobody loved me. People wanted to sell me drugs. That should happen. So yeah, I decided I'm not going to go on dates anymore. So didn't go on dates this couple months. Okay, sorry, I'm telling too much on this book foundation now. Um, didn't go on dates for a couple months and I was like, yeah, cool, 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 whatever, I'm happy. So then I was like, oh, maybe I'll just try this online shit again. Like, I don't know, maybe it'll work this time. Oh, by the way, this Makeup Forever Foundation, my shade is Y415. Obsessed. Always look nice with my skin. It's the best shit ever. So, so yeah, I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll go back and like try to give this online thing another try. So I was like, okay, fine. Like, let me just try Tinder because, again, because like last time it didn't work out. All I got was dick pics and some like weird ass guys hitting me up. So I was like, okay, fine, cool, 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 cool. 
I'm just gonna try Tinder again. So your girl goes on Tinder, right? Like literally no fucking matches. Like I don't like anyone, nobody like me. I'm like, it's a sign from the universe, I'm gonna die alone. Like I should get comfortable with it. And then like this cute guy matches with me. He's brown, he looks half decent, half normal. So he messages me, I'm like, hey. And then he's like, are you fat? I'm like, wait, what? He's like, are you fat? I'm like, <laughs> what do you want to ask me how I'm like doing? And like, how, like, I don't know anything about me. He's like, yeah, how old are your pictures? Are you fat? I'm like, I don't think I'm fat, but like, and my pictures are pretty recent. He's like, okay, well, I want to see you first. I'm like, this is not like a deal, you know? This is, we're trying to meet, like two people trying to meet and like find out if they like each other. You can't just fucking call me fat and be like, hey, let's meet. I want to check, out, check you out and see if you're fat and if you don't think I'm skinny enough for you, you will walk away. So I blocked him immediately. And yeah, that's been the end of my dating this summer. I mean, for real, guys, like what the fuck happened? Like, I'm a fairly beautiful, smart girl. Can't find a decent man? Like, are you fucking kidding me? Okay, then I take my, sorry, I'm talking too much, Born This Way Too Faced Concealer in Warm Beige. Like, this is the only shit I'll wear for the rest of my life until someone comes up with a better formula. It was like the NARS creamy formula, radiance formula. I wore that for like, I don't know, whatever fucking years. First, it was MAC. I remember MAC concealers. Um, they were very drying, but they were the best, and that's the closest match I ever had, so I wore that. Then I moved to creamy, NARS creamy concealer, to, and I was wearing ginger. Then the Too Faced came out with this, and I was like, yeah, buy everyone else. I'm gonna just go be Too Faced. <laughs> so yeah, that happened. So I'm not, like, I'm happy, but I'm not saying that I'm, like, completely happy being single. I'm, like, so fucking kind of, like, miss having a man, you know, like, I miss going on dates and whatever, all that fucking, like, fancy shit people do. I don't know. Y'all tell me, are you happy in relationships? still fun and games or it's like stressful because the last time I was with a man it was fucking stressful like being married was not fun talking about married fun married men have been hitting me up my exes and I made a video on this like a couple months back and I was like why is this motherfucker hitting me up right and so it went silent for a while they're still hitting me up again like I feel like every summer they go through some weird mental fucking shit but they're like oh let's just hit up my ex my single ex and see if she'll have sex with me. Anyway, so he's hitting me up, messaging me from fake Facebook accounts, fake Instagram accounts, and um, calling me from office phones, um, telling me shit like, I'm so unhappy, oh my god, I miss you. And I'm like, what do you want? First of all, I shouldn't have picked up the phone. I don't know why I did. Um, it was an unknown number. I didn't know what whose number it was. So in my defense, that's why I picked up. And I'm like, what do you want? Why are you calling me? You got a wife? You got a kid? Um, like, you just look pretty happy from social media. So, what the fuck you want, boy? He's like, I don't want anything. I just want to like see you. I want to talk to you. I'm so lonely. I'm so unhappy. I'm like, why? why is that my problem that you're lonely and unhappy? I really don't give a shit. Like, every time a guy hits up his ex, it's like, I'm so lonely and I'm unhappy. Since when did it become our problem if a man is lonely and unhappy? Like, why do you think we give a shit? Okay, then, sorry, I missed a step. Um, I use my Laurier, Mar Laura Marcia translucent powder to powder my face because it's summer. And then I take my um, Fenty bronzer. I can't say this name. Badge and girl, band girl, I don't know what that, but my favorite bronzer ever. And then, gonna go crazy with this shit. Just watch me. Anyway, um, so yeah, why is it my problem that you're lonely and happy? And I'm sure you're not because, like, I checked out his social media and he looks perfectly fine and happy. So that's like he's fucking lying, obviously, because you need some pussy. Um, but like, yeah, like, why is it my problem? Like, why do I give a shit? I don't. And guys, like, don't understand that. Like, for them, it's like, oh, I'm ha unhappy. The whole world must cater to me. I need some. Like, no. No, go to fucking hell. And I feel bad for his poor wife because I'm like, girl, do you even know what your man's doing? Because if he's hitting me up and if I'm saying no, I'm not the only person he's hitting up, girl, trust me. So, 
girls i know it sounds like stupid but check your man's phone i'm telling you check your man's phone because you will find some shit i am telling you every time a guy gets bored or if you're out of town your man's hitting up his ex trust me it's happening as you can see i'm going crazy with my bronzer and it looks weird but trust me it's gonna all come together and if you're a brown girl i'm pretty sure your parents told you not to tan not to look dark you know what fuck that things are changing we're gonna do what we want to do and you know what being tan is the you know, best shit you can do to your face that shit is amazing then i'm gonna take my fenty kilowatt highlight in afternoon snack and mo honey i just i forgot how to wear eyeshadows anymore i only wear these now and then i take the mo honey put it all over my lid i'm running out of it i'm so sad so yeah so girls check your man's phone like the minute you get out of the town or the minute you're busy doing some shit or taking care of his child taking care of his needs he's fucking like texting his exes it happened to me a couple of times like my first relationship my man was hitting his ex all the time hitting up his ex all the time and i was a snoopy little bitch i found out because i don't trust men um and then he's like oh i just wanted to say hi no motherfucker you didn't want to say hi you want to fuck her anyway and then my ex, who I was married to, he was hitting up his ex, the woman he was married to. So that's the kind of shit people do. Like, you know what I mean? Like, these men are always hitting up their exes. And I don't know why. Like, if you really like your ex so much, why don't you just stay with her? You know what I mean? Okay, then I take this and put on my teardrop. So ladies, check your man's phones, girls. I'm telling you, you will find shit. I mean, unless you don't want to, <laughs> don't do it then. Um, and if you think that, oh, my man can never do it, he's like, oh, he's so loyal. Bitch, he's doing it. The one that you think is the most loyal is the one who's doing it. Because the guy who's hitting me up, like, people would think he's like the nicest guy ever. But he's the real motherfucker. Anyway, so you saw what I did, right? Just literally one color putting the shit all over my face and then i've been really obsessed with hourglass foiled eyeshadows this is in a color scattered light oh, shit. <laughs> i'm gonna take my finger i'm gonna put it on my lid it just like gives it a little zing, you know extra zing. i'm gonna do that look at the motherfucking eyeshadow Fuck. i curse a lot so guys on you that's why i am Okay, so you put this motherfucker all over your shit lids and look it's a very simple look and I love bronzing I absolutely love bronzing and like I bronze a lot and then I don't even put blush so then I'm gonna take the same highlight mo honey I'm gonna go crazy with it all over my face literally go just watch so yeah so that's my life right now just like like I'm trying to be happy trying to live my life but at the same time like you know I'm realizing that no matter what you think your life is gonna be like life does its own shit like I know people always make plans but trust me like do plans ever work like in my case it's it's never worked like when I was 24 I had my whole fucking life planned never in a million years thought I would end up in at this stage of my life here but you know what? Not unhappy. I'm blessed. I have more than I thought I could have. And yeah, life takes you to weird places sometimes. And sometimes it's for the best. So you can see I'm going crazy with it. It doesn't look crazy, I promise. Like up front, I'm looking, I'm I look like a glowy hoe. So I did that. Now I'm going to wear my like my face is kind of almost done. Can you believe that? So I'm gonna take my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, eyebrow pencil and I'm going to do my brows. Okay, I don't know. We'll just do whatever. So yeah, you know, life has been interesting. Like, I don't know. I just, with my job though, I feel like I'm not where I am supposed to be. You know when you know where you're supposed to be and you feel like you belong, it's just like a great feeling. But the more that day goes by at my job, I'm like, maybe I don't belong here. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you sit at meetings, and you're like, am I in the right place? Like, what am I doing here? I've been having a lot of those 
um, I don't know if it's an existential crisis or whatever, but what I want to do is help people. I want to be involved in something that helps people. And I can, I can do something for people, you know, like that's my cause. Um, so I'm putting it out there in the universe. Universe, please bring me something that I would love doing that resonates with my purpose, my soul. Um, and I believe in the universe. And I feel like when you ask, when you, when, you, when you want things, it always happens. You just have to really want it. Okay. What do you guys think about my eyebrows? Not too shabby. Okay. So my eyebrows are done. And I'm going to now do my mascara. Shit. Yeah, I can't. Oh, yeah, I found it. Sorry. Okay, I'm going to do my mascara. And you guys know I love to do like 100 coats of it. So I'm going to keep talking and doing 100 coats. So yeah, um, my summer has been an interesting one. Like I just feel like I'm just so mad at this man who keeps calling and texting me. And then I like cursed him out. I was like, motherfucker, don't message me, whatever, blah, blah, blah. He's like, oh, no, you don't need to curse. I'm not going to call you anymore. Like, motherfucker, you do it all the time. Like you're like, every time you feel bad about your life or low about yourself, you just keep texting me. Like, no, don't do that. Like that shit is not cool. There's a woman raising your child who loves you and you who like her whole life's purpose is to make you happy I don't know why she's like that but it is and you're just gonna go message other girls like trust me I'm not the only girl he's messaging there's like all these other girls like that's what men do like if you think if if a man is messaging you and you think oh I'm special that's why no girl no trust me motherfuckers messaging everybody it's probably like a reply all text on his phone and you're like one of them bitches so yeah and you know like I'm not older wiser and I know how to value myself I understand I know people I can smell bullshit like fucking I can literally sense fucking bullshit my radar is so fucking strong right now so yeah I was like as soon as I saw those desperate texts from fake accounts and like like fake accounts Motherfucker, if you really don't have bad intentions, message me from your own account and tell your wife that you're messaging me. You know? Anyway, it's like, it's, it's really sad because the older I get, I keep questioning everything. Like, you know, is, 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 is monogamy really not a thing? Like, is can men not really, um, do they really need to go and, you know, do they need multiple women like what what is going on why are men constantly cheating like i'm not saying women don't cheat women cheat too but women cheat when there's an emotional need when they're lacking shit you know what i mean they'll cheat when they feel like they're self cheated or like whatever in a relationship like not happy men will cheat in happy relationships because they can and i'm not male bashing but i've seen it it happens over and over again like every ex of mine has like somehow at this point in my life tried to hit me up and all of them are married and I'm like why like exes from like 30 40 years back are hitting me up like you are happy you have a wonderful beautiful wife you have beautiful kids your life is perfect at least on social media why are you trying to fuck it up please tell me god this was supposed to be a fun video it's getting dark and twisty so yeah guys i really need you guys to send me prayer as love so i can find something i love doing a job and i can find a good man who's not going to um fuck don't do 20 different females you know what i mean but a man who's only mine okay then i will go with my 3c makeup for lip liner that i'm so obsessed about like I'm not I'm not really mad at the thick Tanya. Like I'm liking it. Like I'm thick. Like I'm like I feel like I'm almost like the Rihanna and like Beyonce band like I'm like I'm a thick girl now. Love it. So the guy who asked me if I'm fat, yes, I'm fat and I'm loving it. Fuck you. I suck at lip liners. Like I love lip liners and I suck at it. Like Okay. And then I take my Rihanna Fenty unbutton. I feel like I'm slowly starting to become like a spokesperson for Fenty, to be honest. 
and it looks light as fuck, but I'm gonna fix it. Okay, then I just, I wait for this to be a little tacky and dry, and then go over it with the lip liner to get the color I want. Like, before I was really scared of getting lighter lipsticks, but now I get lighter lipsticks and I just buy a lip liner that will fix it. And I'd like, invest in a good lip liner, a nude lip liner, that you think will go with your color, trust me, it changes your life, okay. And then for the finale, I am going to take my, ooh, going to take my Fenty Beauty Body Lava that I'm so obsessed with, so fucking obsessed with, and I'm gonna take my Beauty Blender, right? I'm gonna rub it like, so in a circular motion, right? Then I'm gonna go over it on my cheeks. Do you see that? Guys, like, it's like, once I started doing it, this changed my life. Like, it gives you a very dewy, wet look that's perfect for the summer. Like, you don't look dry and crusty, and it's like, it looks gorgeous all day. And I always do it in an S shape. C. I don't, what, S? No, it's C. Like, look. Look at that. Right? Okay. And then I take my hair off. And look, I did my hair. It looks nice when I like curl it. With the balayage, you can see it better. And also, I used my Revlon, um, the heating tool today. No straightener, just Revlon blow dryer. And look at this. The style, I think it's called style or whatever. I love it. So, yeah, that's my look. It's very simple, very summery. Um, I will probably wear more bronzer after this video. I just don't want to freak you guys out, but I like wear a lot of bronzer. I'll give you a close up of my look. I like this glow up front, it's gorgeous. So, yeah, thank you for watching my video. I hope I didn't freak you guys out with my weird like rants and complaints, but like thank you for watching and thank you being supportive and thank you for making my life better because I feel like every time I make a video and I see these comments, it just it uplifts me, it makes my day better. So thank you and have a great summer. I'll probably be back again soon. I'll try, but bye.